According to a recent press release, a US-based company has released a public speaking training guide for children aged 8 to 18. In today's video, we discuss the importance of developing public speaking skills from a young age. My name is Gemma. Welcome to Public Speaking News. Recent reports have revealed that a US company has released an at-home activity-based guidebook for 8 to 18-year-olds to help them develop confidence in public speaking. The program aims to help children become joyful, confident speakers before there is a chance for fear of public speaking to develop. We asked Andy Harrington, a public speaking expert, for his thoughts on developing public speaking skills in children prior to fear being developed. When it comes to children and public speaking, one of the best things you can do is encourage your children to speak out and share their voice, their opinion. Kids need to believe in their voice. They need to believe in their opinions and that their opinions are valid because all too often kids are taught to be seen and not heard. And they're also taught to follow. They're taught almost to how to think. We don't ask kids enough questions. We, give, we provide too many answers. What we ought to be doing is questioning our children. When they ask us questions, rather than provide an answer, why not ask the question back? When they say, hey, where do the stars come from? You could say, hey, you wonder about that. Interesting, isn't it? What do you think? Where do you think they come from? Rather than providing the answer, because education is about drawing out, not about putting in. From the Latin word, uh, educate, it means to draw out. All too often in schools, we are putting in. That is not learning. It may be teaching, but it's not learning. Learning is when someone facilitates a conversation inside someone's head. Learning is when new neuro connections are made between one set of neurons and another one. And that only really effectively occurs when the student is engaged in the learning experience. So as a public speaker, it's really important that you encourage other kids to be good public speakers too. Because, I, for example, I travel around the world. I just got back from Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, uh, and Singapore on a small tour down there. And uh, my, my two kids come with me. Um, and I always get my daughter to take the stage. She's uh, just turned three years old at this time. And uh, she takes the stage every single time. In fact, a funny story. We were in the Hard Rock Cafe and we were having a meal in Johannesburg and there was a comedian on. He was dying on stage. He, was, he wasn't, it wasn't a big audience anyway. He wasn't having a great time. And um, he was even bemoaning the fact that the, even the children weren't paying attention because my daughter was on her, uh, on her iPad. But my daughter's taken to my stage many times. She comes and does her ABC, etc. And I always teach her eye contact when she's doing it. Anyway, so um, he, he's talking about my daughter while she's on her iPad. She's not even noticing. And he said, what's her name, by the way? And we, I, said, I just said, Amelia. And with that, she instantly put it down and took the, her name to be a call to the stage. She put it down, ran onto the stage, and they got a round of applause, and the guy was flabbergasted because she's comfortable and used to being on a stage. The more you can do this for your children or young people, the more leaders we'll have in the future. And when we do that, I'm not talking about politicians necessarily, but people who act as leaders in our communities, inside a family. Uh, people take charge and control and to lead rather than to follow. That's what we need in the world. Play your part. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Please leave your interesting views and questions in the comments section below. To find out more about Andy Harrington, Jet Set Speaker and their free training videos, simply click the button displaying on the video right now.